so folks, something big just happened. Really, really big. And it's flying under the radar a tad because of course everything is happening right now. But Jamie Raskin from the J6 committee just went out there and made an absolutely gargantuan announcement that I guarantee you is sending a shiver up the spine of Trump and his team and everyone in MAGA world. This is something that I don't think they were expecting and it shows that the news keeps on getting worse for Trump. And critically, critically above all, the dots are being connected everywhere and they all point to Donald Trump. I would just ask the question, where are the files? Where did they go? And which ones of Donald Trump's friends in the United States or around the world might have them? But, but who knows? Um, that whole uh, investigation is completely apart, of course, from what we're doing uh, in the January 6th Select Committee, which was impaneled under House Resolution 503 to examine the events of January the 6th and what led up to them and what we need to do to fortify American democracy in the future against coups and political violence and insurrections. Um, and what's interesting to me, just watching from afar what's going on in that investigation that you've been covering, is that it's all about whether Donald Trump may have exposed our national security secrets to uh, to damage and to uh, impairment by hostile forces. Well, of course, that's what we know he did on January the 6th in unleashing uh, an attempted coup and a violent insurrection against the government of the United States in order to overturn the results of the 2020 election. So it's a, a factually distinct set of events, potentially criminal, um, but it's parallel very much to what we're looking at, which is uh, a grave and historic impairment of the national security and a threat to the democratic government in our country. I, I do just want to be clear. You're raising the possibility that Donald Trump shared classified U.S. information with foreign entities. I, I don't believe you have evidence to support that, but you're raising that question for a, a reason. Why is that? What informs you raising that question? Um, you know, who would have interest in those? Why? Why um, do you think he? Why do you think he? Why do you think he would share those? Uh, again, uh, you know, I, I have no idea. Uh, what we saw throughout the Trump presidency, uh, you know, Donald Trump siding with various foreign powers and autocrats uh, against. Uh, our own intelligence services, against our own Congress, uh, against um, the people of the United States. So, um, you know, I have no idea what's taking place in this uh, particular case, but it's just interesting to me that people are afraid that there was an impairment of national security and the integrity of democratic government. And that's precisely what took place on January 6th, where there was a very determined and explicit effort to try to overthrow the results of a democratic election and replace them with counterfeit electors and a plan to perpetuate Donald Trump's rule in office. So, you know, I agree with uh, President Biden that uh, what is at stake in all of these events and certainly what's at stake in the upcoming uh, election is the this condition of democracy in America, are we going to defend democratic institutions or not? So listen, Raskin there is, I think, playing it very coy. I do think Raskin is one of the brightest members of Congress, like one of the most intellectually bright members. And what he does there is sort of tiptoes around the idea, but makes it very clear. On the one hand, he says, look, the J6 committee and this FBI DOJ investigation, they're separate things. We don't necessarily have anything to do with what happened down at Trump's home. Nonetheless, we are watching this and we can't help but notice all of the parallels. And all of the parallels really center on Donald Trump's irresponsibility, his corruption, his penchant for violence, and above all, his disrespect for national security, democracy, and law and order, and justice, and all of that. And I can guarantee you that when the J6 committee comes back, even though it's not their textbook focus, they will undoubtedly make the connections between Donald Trump's theft of documents of national security security pieces 
and critically, Donald Trump's efforts at the Capitol, because both were designed to either enrich or empower Donald Trump and or fundamentally corrode democracy in the interests of Donald Trump. And that's critical there at the end, because Raskin is making it clear that he suspects there's at least the possibility of Donald Trump nefariously selling or giving away or concealing these documents. The J6 committee isn't done. And while they might be saying right now that these are totally separate, it would not shock me if by the end of it, there's more cooperation than we thought. Remember what I said a few weeks ago, Ago. The DOJ and the J6 committee were not cooperating. They were kind of fighting each other, but then they decided to work together. And just a few days after that, a couple weeks after that, the raid happened. If you don't think more cooperation is coming, I don't know what to tell you, but Donald Trump, he's terrified of just that.